If I had a penny for every time a train was randomly swallowed up by the ground in England, I'd have two pennies. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened more than once. I apologise in advance if I'm pronouncing this name wrong. On the 30th of April 1945, Ludwig Berry, who was 67 years old at the time, was shunting some coal wagons on a small branch line from Abraham Colliery in Wigan. Mr. Berry passed by his daughter and 11-month-old grandson as he continued down the line driving an 060 saddle tank engine named Dorothy that most had come to nickname Dolly. Supposedly, Ludwig was rather fond of this engine. As he backed the train of 13 coal wagons into a siding, a brakeman noticed a gaping hole had suddenly opened up under some of the trucks. He frantically signalled for Ludovic to stop, but as he applied the brakes, the weight of the loaded wagons snapped the rails hanging over the gap, causing them to plunge into the hole. The brakeman called for Ludovic to jump clear as the falling wagons still attached to the train began to pull both the other wagons and the locomotive towards the hole. Ludovic remained in the cab trying to save the train, but by then it was too late. In a matter of seconds, the loaded wagon had pulled the engine down into the hole and Ludovic along with it. It took a long time for the smoke and dust to settle. After it had, all that could be seen was the front end of the engine facing towards the sky roughly a hundred feet down in the hole. Workmen from the local pit rushed over to help rescue Ludovic, but police that had arrived at the scene said there was no hope of him surviving. The wagons and engine were completely written off and Ludovic's body was never recovered. The hole was filled in and covered over, with Mr. Ludovic Berry being buried along with the engine and the wagons. An investigation was launched to find the cause of the calamity. It was found that the hole was an old mine ventilation shaft that had been filled in in 1932 with 8,000 tons of debris. A mining agent had inspected the tunnel only the day before and found nothing wrong, but recounted that the amount of tunneling in the area combined with recent heavy rains hadn't been part of his inspection and were likely the reason the hole managed to unfill itself. A marker was placed near the accident site in remembrance of Ludovic Berry, and still remains there to this day. It's believed he stayed in the cab of the engine in an attempt to save it, as his colleagues said he had a great fondness for it. Overall, it's just another example of actions having unforeseen consequences, i.e. mineshaft unexpectedly giving way beneath an engine and its crew. Only this time, someone actually died as a result. Though given how fond of Dorothy Mr. Berry was, I suppose there would have been few other things he would have wanted to be buried with. It's not exactly what you'd call the greatest disaster in railway history, but still a rather tragic story nonetheless. <laughs>